Do you need healing? Have you been waiting for your faith to soar? Are you ready for the healing power of God? Then this anointed broadcast is for you. The healing power of God. Be prepared to receive your healing today. Get ready for your faith to rise. The healing power of God is present to heal you now. Watch as Pastor Robert, an international minister of God, releases the healing power of God. The kingdom of God is the power of God getting results. Now, here's Pastor Robert. Praise the Lord. Here we are with Rider Ministries, healing power of God, and I'm so glad you came today to watch. we got some awesome excitement for you today. I have one of my exciting friends with me today of Deborah Ware. Deborah, I want to welcome you to the, to the healing power of God. Thank you. Yeah, you're going to have fun today. Mm -hmm. Can't help it. God's here. <laughs> amen. That's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I understand you hear from God. You're a prophetess, and you give out awesome words of the Lord. Recently, God has been doing some amazing things in my life. I'll have to say that uh, I uh, recently have been laying hands on the sick and seeing them recover. But Hallelujah. I've also, I've also um, had opportunities to one-on-one -on -one minister deliverance and just ask the Lord to just send his healing power into them, whether it be depression or um, situations with finances or just a direction that they want to go in themselves and just um, the Lord imparts his gifts to them. Oh, that's amazing. It's wonderful. It's exciting to see. Well, today I have a little subject. We're going to be talking on uh, hearing from God mm -hmm. and we're inviting you to, to find out, those of you that are watching us, how to hear from God. Deborah hears from the Lord, I do. And a lot of us say, well, you know, I can't hear God. And what I tell people, Deborah, is don't practice negative. Practice faith. And faith says, I always hear God. I never miss him. I always hear God. That's faith. And a lot of people, they don't get it. Because when you start saying, I never miss God, I always hear him. What's that make you got to do? <laughs> you got to hear. Yes. Amen. <laughs> so tell, tell us a little bit, how, how did you get started in hearing from the voice of the Lord? Everyone has a little different. Give us just a few short things. Tell us what happened. Well, I started attending church when I was probably about, oh, 10 and I walked to a local church and I um, was saved at that age and um, confessed the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal savior. Amen. And then when I was 22, I got spirit filled where I got my prayer language then. And um, the Lord just started moving in a different way. And I just felt his presence in my life when I was going through hard times or good times. Either way, when, um, I was young, I started singing for the Lord, and um, then on worship team at our church. And then, so for quite a few years, I've been on worship team and worship and praise. And and uh, in my personal life, I think it is very important to, um, to have that quiet time with the Lord. And during that quiet time, the Lord has started speaking to me. Mm -hmm. And um, He just gives me edifying words. He just tells me, encourages me. And um, and then, so when I lay hands on, on people, I just see him moving in their life. And usually they'll come back with a good report. Amen. Now, I talked with you on the phone prior to coming here. You mm -hmm. said that he started talking to you at a very young age. Yes. And so, how did you know it was him? Because he his voice was um So you uh, heard a man's powerful. voice? You heard a man's voice? Yes. It wasn't your voice. No. It was another voice. Yes. And it wasn't devil voice. It was God's voice. Yes. Amen. See, I'm comparing you what I what I read in my Bible. And when Samuel was given to Eli as a young child, you know, he was to be grown up as a priest and he didn't know all this and he didn't know a whole lot about God because the scripture says that the word of the Lord is scarce. But one night while Samuel's sleeping, the Lord says, Samuel, Samuel. What do you want, Eli? What do you want, Eli? <laughs> and he comes, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. And the Lord calls him again by his name. Mm -hmm. And finally, Eli says to Samuel, when he calls you by your name, say, here I am, Lord. Your servant's listening. And so I, as you shared with me as a youngster, you know that you know without a shadow of a doubt, it's the Lord. You just yes. know. I mean, you just know. Amen? Uh -huh. Amen. And, and so... 
uh, a lot of people don't recognize how God talks. And if you compare that scripture with your life, uh, not just your life, but everyone's life, if you start realizing, you know, God wants to talk to us. Amen? That's right. Okay, so in the scriptures, did you know that God talks to us through the Bible? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> people say, I never hear God talking to me. Well, well then open your Bible. He's going to talk to you. And so we have different voices speaking on the inside of us, and we have to differentiate who is, what am I listening to? How do I know it's the Lord? And how do you know it's not just me? And, you know, as a prophet, you've, you've had to discern mm -hmm. and fine line it and cut it real sharp. Or did you just know that it's been that way forever? Oh, no. I didn't always know the voice of the Lord exactly, precisely. So I'd ask him. I'd ah. say, Lord, if this is you, just show me that it's you. And he, he, in his divine providence, does show us. Amen. He will show us because we will see a result. We will see uh, circumstances will change. And our lives will be healed. And we will not have so much fear in our heart. And when I started listening to the Lord and trusting in him, then the faith started coming. And then it just builds as time goes on. I mean, it's, it takes time. It takes courage. It takes patience to um, walk with Christ, but he never fails us. Amen. He never fails. You remember Elijah, when he, he ran away from that woman and went to the cave and the Lord said, I'm not in the hurricane, I'm not in the whirlwind, I'm not in the fire, I'm not in the earthquake, but it's the still small voice. Mm -hmm. And identifying a still small voice versus the loud voice you hear on the inside, sometimes takes a little bit of time to adjust to hearing God's voice like that. Or does it really plain for you? Sometimes he will come in, even in the, in the difficult times, sometimes he will uh, come in and speak to me during those times. And I just love that. Amen. I mean, that is, that is what he's been doing in the past several years. There has been um, just a greater outpouring of his love for me. And I think he wants to do that for the world. I think he wants to share his love like that with all of us. Amen. He doesn't want anybody to be Amen. without his love and his mercy. Exactly, exactly. One of the things uh, I've learned over the years is to differentiate between, this is important for people because I do a teaching called Spirit, Soul, and Body, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be talking about that in a minute, but in that teaching, it, there's a difference between, well, it's in James chapter 3, verse 15, where it says, there's wisdom from, that's not from above, is first earthly, sensually, or devilish. And people listen to their voice thinking that's them. Sometimes it's the actual voice of the Lord speaking to them. And a lot of times it's just their flesh talking to them. Sometimes it's their mind that's talking to them. The devil talks to them. But God talks to you in verse 17. It's first peaceable, easy, being treated, full of mercy. And we're out of hypocrisy. And a lot of times it, to differentiate those voices it takes some time. And one of the things I've, I've gathered from talking with you, and it really excites me, is that your spirit's already what we call developed. And when you said you got baptized in the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, amen, that mm -hmm. is an awesome time for development. Because a lot of times people think, well, if I read the Bible, know all the scriptures, I'm developed. No, it's a part of it. But you're developing of your spirit, man, and identifying who's speaking to you is the number one thing. And we call that the four sources of wisdom. Who's talking to me? Once you identify, mm -hmm. it's not the devil. Yeah, it was just me because the Bible says in 1 John 2, 16, it's lust of your eyes, lust of your flesh, and pride of life. That gets in the way. And I'm sure you've heard people prophesy and you know it's not God talking. You oh, know yeah. it's them. Because they've read the scripture mm -hmm. and they're so moved because God did give them a word, but they kind of expounded on it a little bit. Mm. And I've learned, you know, you better just say what he says and that's it. Because that's all he wants to say and that's all it's necessary. Are you, are you in agreement with that? I am. Yeah. It's easy to get, uh, I've watched people who hear from the Lord get moved so much that they begin to get into tears and they've lost control of their emotions and are shaky and quivering. Have you noticed that? Mm -hmm. How do you get over that? <laughs> That's hard. It, yeah. Well, you got to recognize some things. Uh -huh. you know, when you're hearing the voice of the Lord, don't you expect to hear? 
-hmm. just like you and mm -hmm. I are having an awesome conversation. Mm -hmm. That's how I expect to hear. And I like, because God knows every personality. Amen. Yes, he knows exactly he <laughs> how to say it to you. I've had him yell at me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know why he's yelling? Because I ain't listening. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> you, know, you gotta get a hold of you. you know. So that happens. But what I'd like to do, because I like to teach and tell people and give them good size. Can I put you on a spot a little bit? Sure. All right, because what <laughs> I'm going to do, you know, this is, this is, I know, you didn't come before this, but <laughs> the Holy Spirit put this on my heart. Because what I'm about to share with you, I'm expecting our audience to do the same thing. Hey, go ahead and turn that off. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So I'm going to expect, maybe it's God calling. Amen. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. So cell phones happen in Jesus' name. Anyway, <laughs> hey, what I'm about to teach now is something that our audience can do because you're going to do it in the way that okay. you're learning, they can learn. And if uh, the excitement is, if you guys will do the same thing that we're doing right now, everybody can hear at the same time. This is okay. what I'm about to do is teach you a simple way to hear the voice of the Lord. And that simple makes easy things to do. God is always speaking, mm -hmm. always talking. More than the, the number of sand on the seashore. You know, scripture tells us Psalm 139. All right. right, so I'm going to say a couple little things, and everybody knows we're spirit filled. We're going to pray in tongues, and we're going to have fun. The objective here is we want to hear the voice of the Lord. So we're going to ask a question in English, okay? Then we're going to pray in tongues just for sport, oh, just a few sentences. Then we're going to be quiet, and we're going to hear what God has to say. Okay. Simple, isn't it? Pray in English. Pray in tongues, hear from God. Ta-da! Praise God. And I know those of you that may not know how to pray in tongues, we've got a place for you to learn how in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. On our website, of course. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and on with the how to hear from God. Okay. So I'm going to ask you the question in English, and then I want you to repeat it, and then we'll pray in tongues just real short, and then you'll tell me exactly what you heard. Okay. And that's that quick answer that the Lord gives. See, he already knows what's going to happen. But to oh, yeah. you, you're going, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Once you realize what we're about to do, and when mm -hmm. you come to a conclusion, you go, that was easy. Amen. Mm -hmm. And when we realize it's easy for her, it's going to be easy for you guys, <laughs> and too, in Jesus' name. All right, let's do it. Okay. Say with me, Father God. Father God. Do you love me? Do you love me? Pray in tongues. Now listen. What did he say? He said, you are my glorious daughter. And I, I lift you up and I call you. I call you to send out the good news. Gave you a bunch of sentences on that one. Mm. I got yes, of course. In, wow. No, you heard, you heard, you heard God. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's, let's go another step. Jesus? Jesus. Why do you love me? Why do you love me? Okay, now listen. I am the lover of your soul. Did that just bubble up? Did oh. you hear a voice? What did, how did it happen? I heard it. You heard it. I, did, I, heard, I just got a knowing on the inside. I know what he's saying to me. Now, to you out there who just did this and learned, you're going to learn by example that, hey, here's a prophetess, obviously, but she never knew how to do what I just said, right? You never knew how to just ask that question and got mm -hmm. an answer. That's so you heard, from, you heard from the Lord just like that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Well, anybody can. Anyone can do that. Any person who loves Jesus, right? Yes. But you ask the question, amen. Mm -hmm. All right. So... Today we're teaching the body of Christ mm -hmm. the simplicity of prophetic speaking. Wasn't that simple? Oh, that's great. Now the Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, he that prophesies edifies the church, right? Mm -hmm. Well, how do you know you're hearing from God? You just heard from God. Amen. Amen. So if you're in the church, you can say, Lord, I, I want to I I speak out to the church. I want to edify the church. Well, because you've been talking to the Lord, it's going to be a piece of cake. You've just learned. So let's, 
you say, okay, well, not you just learned, but the people out there <laughs> just learned in Jesus' name. So the more you practice what we just did, mm -hmm. the more you're going to hear. Because there's lots of people who say, I never hear God talk to me. Now, there's, a, there's one thing that does happen that we just did, and you heard immediately. There are those who never hear, even though I've asked them. And I got the answer to that one. You know what it is? You are trying too hard. That person's putting out too much effort. Number two, maybe they have confusion and stuff in their life. They really haven't taken care of it, so to speak. They haven't cast their care onto the Lord, so to speak. You know where I'm going mm -hmm. with this? Okay. Once that person does that, so I didn't have to do that with you because you're already ready. You already prayed up well, before you got here and while we prayed. Amen. So hearing from the voice of the Lord should be simple. And that's the simple part of it. You know, the other part is in dreams and visions. Does God talk to you in dreams and visions? I get visions. I get day visions. And um, he mostly talks to me in an audible voice. That's cool. See, Most of the time. And then he'll give it to me very rapidly. And then I just need paper to write it down. That's so awesome. that's just, that is what he's doing. And he's also giving me um, prophetic utterance when I'm praying for others. Yeah, I could tell. Encouragement. Encouragement, edifying, mm -hmm. lifting them up, and giving them that blessing of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, I see you in the scripture again. I see you where where uh, was Aaron and Miriam that were coming against Moses in the Book of Numbers, and the Lord said, "Hey, you two, get over here. I'm going to meet you in front of the the meeting room, the church building, so to speak." Back then, he says, "When I talk to Moses, I talk to him face to face as my friend." But you guys have got to get it through dreams and visions. I'm amazed you hear it audibly. God is talking to you. You've become his friend. How does a person like me or the ones watching become a friend of the Lord to get it voice like you hear it? I believe it's the word of God. The word of God is, is so powerful. And it says it, it, he breaks the yoke with the word of God. He destroys the works of the enemy. The enemy is basically out to get us from the get-go, from the beginning, when we're first born. He doesn't want us to succeed. He doesn't want us to find Christ. And so as soon as we submit, submit and give our heart over to Jesus Christ um, and have relationship with him, he wants our relationship. He, he wants us to have friendship and he wants us to come to him with all of our care, bring it to the Lord and cast it before him. And when we lay it at his feet, then he's going to just, he's just going to do amazing things in our heart and mind. And also I've been recently learning by reading a book, um, Battlefield of the Mind, that I need to also cast those negative thoughts down. And when I lay them down, then I can actually think pure and lovely thoughts. And there is a scripture that talks about thinking on those things that are pure and lovely and honest and of good report. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of Jesus. So you said it exactly how I would have said it. Just have a good time with Jesus. Just talk to him. Yes. And that relationship, he's going to talk back. Yeah. But so many of us, i got to say, d d doesn't this happen to a lot of us? Thank you, Lord. I appreciate all that you did. Amen. Bye. Mm -hmm. did you, you didn't give him a chance to answer. people fall into that boat. Got my hand up then, they're done that, amen. And you know, as we turn around and, and stop and say, Lord, I'm sorry, I need to hear what you have to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot easier, isn't it? <laughs> amen, yes. praise the Lord. Well, I wanna share also with you folks that are watching, we do have a DVD on how to heal the sick and in there is part of that teaching on hearing the voice of God. We got yes. a little clip here we want to show to you right now. Let's go ahead and do that. Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Robert with Writer Ministries and I have got some exciting news for you. We've got the Writer Ministries Bible School How to Heal the Sick DVDs. These are amazing. We got two hours on just about every DVD. We got a total of four, so we roughly between seven and eight hours of awesome teaching. Now, if you've ever wanted to know how to heal the sick, uh, what to say, where to lay your hands and get results, then this DVD teaching is gonna be just for you. We got some exciting mess messages out of the Great Commission, what the Lord has called us to do for healing. 
how to speak a word of command, how God heals in many ways, casting out devils, healing different kinds of diseases, and forgiveness. We want uh, all of you to get one of these DVDs. They're normally $100, but they're on sale for only $75. Now that's an awesome deal for DVDs. So we want you to get yours. Now you're gonna learn how to do this. And then we're gonna show you with the announcer how you take this teaching and put it into practical application. And that's where you're gonna go out healing the sick, doing good like Jesus did, and the power of the Spirit of God. So the healing power of God is available. It's been captured. The anointing's on how to heal the sick. This is inside Bible school training. Everyone needs one. So when you get a hold of this DVD, you're going to go about doing good just like Jesus did. These signs shall follow them that believe, and you shall learn how to heal the sick in Jesus' mighty name. So pay attention to our announcer where you can order yours today. The scriptures tell us that our Lord Jesus Christ said in Mark 16, verses 17 and 18, that we believers are to lay hands on the sick, and the sick shall recover. According to Mark 11:23, we are to speak to a mountain and command it to be cast into the sea in Jesus' name. We have read and heard these scriptures before, but now Pastor Robert of Rider Ministries opens the scriptures to show us how easy it is to minister healing with the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Each of these four DVDs has about two hours of anointed teaching. You will see and learn what to say and where to lay your hands to get results in Jesus' name. With these anointed teachings, you too will be able to see signs and wonders follow you with healing in your hands. Praise the Lord. I'm sure you're going to get one of these as soon as possible in Jesus' name. To me, I, I, you know, it's got all the different DVDs in here. There's like four DVDs with two hours on each one. These normally sell for 100 bucks. They're on sale for $75. You want to know how to heal the sick? You can learn right here. You know, and I tell people, don't go home without it. In <laughs> Jesus' name, That's amen. Right. <laughs> also, the follow-up on that we call it Fresh Fire. We have a Fresh Fire DVD. Uh, it's a ministry training how to heal the sick. But it's, um, so you already learned how to do the healing, but you don't want to go back through eight hours of teaching. This will bring you up to speed in about 30 minutes. You can go back, and, sh and there's also the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So if you want to get spirit-filled, this little teaching will have it on there for you. Right. And uh, we'll give you uh, also on how to get people saved and how to knock on a door and go talk to somebody. Ooh. It's all simple. <laughs> and anyone who wants to put for any amount, we'll send it to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. So a couple of items we'd like for you to get. Praise the Lord. I have another item that I want to share real quick. We did a teaching over at the the church without walls and we made a, a little DVD as a healing highlights and so uh, let's go over this one and we got it we have this for you available for ten dollars it's about an hour long and if you want to see miracles actually happen right on the spot then you want to get this one God. it's the, the highlights from the church without walls we did this here in August just this year finally got it all put together and it's available for you if anybody wants to order it just uh, give us a jingle on the internet and say you'd like to get that. We'll send it out to you. One more item. And I just love doing this because it's a little, what we call a little tiny flash drive. It's a USB. You pl excuse me. You can plug it into your computer. And what's on it is 40 hours of teaching, Bible school teaching. 40 hours of the spirit, soul, and body. There's about eight hours of teaching on that. Holy Spirit, same amount, righteousness, spiritual warfare, and how to heal the sick. It's the audio teaching of my Bible school teachings on how to, how to get minister. If you want to become a minister for God and you just want to hear the audio, cool. you got a 4 gigabyte USB flash drive only for 100 bucks. Awesome. Now, when I did the, the meetings for each one of these, when we did the DVDs and stuff, it cost you $100 to come and get the teaching. Now you're getting all five teachings for a hundred bucks. Now, is that a deal or what? Yeah. And plus you get the USB deal. flash drive. All right. So <laughs> just wanted to bring those out in the name of Jesus. Amen. That's great. So we're also asking people to uh, send us their prayer requests and praise reports. If you have that available, you'd like to send in a prayer request so we can pray for you on this uh, healing power of God, do it. And if you got healed or you've got a uh, praise report, send that to us too as well in the name of Jesus. Also, I'd like for you to sign up on our newsletter. It's on our front page of our website. 
at writer.org, writer.org. And uh, you can sign up for our newsletter and you'll be getting a newsletter sent to you when we have things coming up, so it's really exciting. And one more thing I want to talk about is we have internet prayer the first Thursday of every month on Skype. So we can get 25 of us together on Skype and you can be in your house wherever you are. We've talked to people in Canada, Hawaii, all at the same time, and everybody gets to see each other. It's the first Thursday of every month at seven o'clock Pacific time. So we'd love for you to get on Skype with us and, and that kind of thing. So, and also we'd love for you to call our ministry. Uh, if you'd like to be on our show, let us know what God is doing in your life. We're looking for people who know about the things of God and we're looking for people who've been healed of God. And we're looking for people who want to be healed. So we can minister healing right now, <laughs> right on the spot, yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're right. Praise God. So I kind of think we are kind of did all our little advertisements. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's nice to know that the information is available. And right. I've had a lot of people tell me, you can't heal and teach somebody how to heal the sick. And my answer is, then you can't tell them how to get someone saved. So it's all the same, right? right. <laughs> but we do. we do. This is what you got to do to get saved, in mm -hmm. Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Well, and healing the sick, we're showing people, according to the scriptures, you know, Mark mm -hmm. sec chapter 16, Jesus said, well, this is my great suggestion, or was it the great commission? It's yeah, a great commission. commission. One's orders, and the other one, uh, uh, I kind of hope that maybe you might do this. No, I don't think so. Yeah. It's... This is what he wants us to do is to preach the gospel, all right, heal the sick, cast out devils, you know, mm -hmm. the stuff that Jesus did. And all we do is show you scripturally, and then we talk to you and give you exactly where to lay your hands and how to say it. Mm -hmm. Bible says, cast that mountain into the sea. There she goes. Yes. And that's a word picture of healing the sick. Amen. Amen. Now I got the Holy Ghost speaking to my heart to ask you another question. I just, okay. Isn't this the <laughs> coolest thing? Amen. All right. When someone needs something, well, let's talk about healing. Uh, if a person slid down and broke their leg, you gonna prophesy over them or are you gonna heal them? Heal them. Amen. And this is the thing I like about you. You're, you're a full gospel girl. You're not just, oh, all I do is prophesy. No, there's more to life than just prophesying. It's the whole meal deal. And I love it when you just <laughs> gave me that answer. So. You're in a process of learning and laying hands on a sick. Like, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned, I'm a pilot. I know how to fly an airplane. And pilots always say, I'm always learning. Well, the same thing with the gospel. We're always learning because you know, we don't know it all. That's There's too right. much to know. And I know this much, you know this much. So if we put them together, hey, we're a team. Teams yes. work faster. Mm -hmm. Amen. Aren't you glad God didn't send a committee? You know, anyway. <laughs> 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 have a yeah. great, I love it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> All right, so getting people s healed, have you ever spoken over somebody that the healing power of God is m working? When you, when you begin to prophesy, all of a sudden it switches and now you're speaking healing into them. Have you had that happen? Yes. That's cool. Yeah, that's what happened? Cool. Well, usually um, if, they're, if it, they're sick in body, mm -hmm. I just lay hands on the on like if their neck is hurting or their knee is hurting, mm -hmm. just lay my hand directly on it. Mm -hmm. And I just ask the Lord to, to touch their body, but I ask the Lord to send healing power into their body right then. Mm -hmm. And um, I just usually quote a healing scripture or uh -huh. two. Cool. And I thank the Lord for what he's about to do. Cool. And I pray in tongues and Amen. he will send an edification to the person. Cool. So that's when you get the prophetic in there, is that you care about the person, so you want them to be healed. You ah, don't want them to be in pain. So you have compassion. You have compassion. See, if you don't have the compassion, be healed, in Jesus' name. Was there something missing in that? <laughs> 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 yeah. So you got to you got to really, when you're involved, you know that involvement, that emotional involvement. I want that person well. But I don't let them affect me. But I do have compassion, understand how they feel, and I know who can fix them. In yes. the name of Jesus. I've opened my Bible because <laughs> you said something that's really cool. 
It says here, they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Mark 16, verse 18. Mm -hmm. But the word hands, if you look it up in the Greek, actually means power. They shall lay power on the Ooh, sick. So when you're laying hands on the person, you're actually laying power mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. And then really, this is really cool, isn't it? You mm -hmm. shall lay hands. It's very cool. So I'll just like bring that out to you. <laughs> so you were doing everything scripturally. And that's <coughs> important because you don't want to be a flake. Okay. I think I heard God. That's a flake. Mm -hmm. I know I heard God. This is what he says to do. See the difference? Mm -hmm. That's knowing who you are in Christ. Mm -hmm. It's not I that liveth, but it's Christ speaking. Amen. Amen. And so I see that in you, and I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Thank you. Yeah. And these people are going to get a blessing here in a moment or two. So what we like to do is pray for the sick. Okay. Mm -hmm. And these are some prayer requests. We'll lay hands on those, but I'm, I'm going to let the Holy Spirit work through us, and we're going to begin to p uh, pray for people we don't know, but I do know that God knows, mm -hmm. and He's going to use your mouth, and then when you speak the Word of God through your mouth, that anointing flows. It's like it says in Isaiah 55, that the Word of the Lord goes forth, and it shall not return to a void, right. but it shall accomplish that to what you send it to do, yes. in Jesus' name. So, we're going to pray. And uh, just want you to, to, to let the Spirit of the Lord just lead you. We've got a few minutes here, a uh, good 15 minutes we can sit here and pray. There, okay. are, there, are, there are people out there, I'm going to talk to you right now. I know that you know you came to watch this video, you came to watch this live internet TV show because you need healing. Now, the thing that comes to my heart, that really grabs my heart right now, there are those of you that are going through some really what we call incurable diseases. That's what the doctors tell you. That's what people tell you. But there's nothing, there's nothing impossible with God, amen? That's right. Now the Holy Spirit just interrupted me and said, he wants you to tell these people, I want you to talk right to the camera, about your daughter who got healed. Obviously you know that the healing power of God functions in your life, but when we hear it from the quote unquote mom's voice, the voice of the Lord speaking to the people, a real quick testimony, so then we'll pray. Okay. But you know what? That's an impossible situation, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. yes. So you tell the, you look right in the camera. You talk to them, okay, and tell them about what happened. Okay. My daughter was 12 years old, and when she was one, she had surgery for crossed eyes. And when she was 12, she was at church, and she heard a scripture: "All things are possible with God," and nothing, nothing is impossible with God. And so she stood on that scripture. And um, so she asked me, Mom, can you have the prayer pastor pray over me? And the prayer pastor was on a vacation for a week with his wife. And so that didn't happen the first week. So then the next week, she says, Mom, is the prayer pastor back? And he was at a conference the next weekend. <laughs> so um, my daughter asked me, Mom, you know, I know that Jesus wants to heal me. And so we moved a chair into the living room from the dining room table and sat her in it and just started worshiping the Lord together. And we, I said, lift, lift up your hands, daughter, just lift your hands up. And do you believe Jesus can heal you? And she said, yes, mom, I do. And so um, we just set up quick prayer and she went in to look because she wanted to see that her eyes her eye on the right side was not crooked and looking off to the side. So she wanted to look in the mirror and she looked in the mirror and she did not see it straight at that point. So she yelled at me, mom, it's not straight. <laughs> so we prayed again a second time. And the third time we prayed, she said, mom, my eye is straight. Jesus healed my eye. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I mean, great. see, there's two kinds of miracles. Mm -hmm. If it was you, it's a big miracle. But if it's her, it's a little miracle. If it's her, it's a big miracle. But if it's for you, you see what I'm saying? They're right. all big miracles. It's but huge. sometimes, you know, oh, I heard your daughter got well. That's, that's nice. See, we don't grasp on right. because it wasn't happening to us. So can you see there's no compassion? Right. Yeah, see, when we start realizing, hey, that's awesome. Because there's not nobody in the world can fix his crossed eye in Jesus' name. Amen. That's right. So when the Lord does it, praise God in Jesus' name. That's the time for shouting. Yes, Thank you, is. Lord. Thank because you, Lord. you see, mm. when you start giving God yes. the glory, power just <laughs> emanates all over the place. 
And for you right now, that same power of God is going right now, right, right. into you in the name of Jesus. So we're going to pray Jesus. for you. We're going to believe God for the total healing power to come into your house, to come right into your body and make you whole and complete in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And I, I'm, I'm going to be excited to watch this happen <laughs> right now. And those of you that get healed, be sure and send us an email. Let us know that God touched you because we want to brag on God in Jesus. That's what you said, right? Yes. We're going to brag on God yes. in the name of Jesus. So let's pray. Father yeah. God, we just bless you. Thank we just you, praise you. We just thank you that the power of the Spirit of the Lord is moving mm. forward. It's going out into these cameras. Yes. It's going yes. through the internet airwaves. Mm. It's going into people's yeah, bodies up, right now. For the Lord is our Lord, God in whom we put our trust in in the name of Jesus. Bible says that you shall lay hands on the sick, so we're going to lay our hands up. You, you lay your hand right on your TV, or just stretch out your hand. Say, God, I'm right there. I'm right yes. here in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God, right now. I declare those that you have the terminal illness of, of cancer. God wants to heal cancer. Yes. I know God can heal cancer because I've been healed of cancer. Mm. Yes, healed. Hallelujah. Totally set free. They want to amputate Glory my leg. God. Hey, how many know that I still got my right leg and I can run, I can walk, I can talk? Because I'm totally healed and set free in Hallelujah. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I understand what it's like to be blind. I got hit in the eye with a rock when I was five years old, totally blind. But now I see. Say, mm. thank you, Lord. Thank I have 20, Jesus. 25 vision out of that. Say, thank you, Lord. I can see. I understand what it's like to have earaches and have, have the Lord open your ear and pop it right open. I've had both broken bones, had God heal. I understand the healing power of God. I know when you have a heart that's broken. I've had my heart broken. I know what it's like to be healed, though. Mm -hmm. And I want you to know that you can be healed today. So in the name of Jesus, those of you that have terminal illnesses, cancer, yes. lupus, uh, diabetes, you have uh, all kinds of blood diseases, you have different uh, organs that are gone, gone south, so no to speak, they don't work anymore. In the name in of Jesus, Jesus, name. Jesus, by the power of the Spirit of God, in the, the name Lord of God. Jesus, Hallelujah. devil, I command Drive you bound by the Spirit of God. I take authority name. and dominion over Hallelujah. you, Satan, you loose them. Authority. I command Heaven cancer, I command it to be destroyed Hallelujah. at the root, yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. I curse Thank the Jesus. seed and the root of that cancer, and command it to dry up and go, in the name of Jesus. I take authority and dominion right now. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. That cancer is to die. God. I speak to the spirit yes. of cancer, I cast you out. Mm -hmm. Command the spirit of death, Glory I cast you out and I command you to go. Yes. Now I speak in the healing yes. power of God to give you Thank a you creative Jesus. miracle to every God. organ and every part of yes. your body that was eat up yes. with cancer. I speak a creative miracle to be yes. made healthy and whole and to function properly. Yes. I speak to your immune systems. Hallelujah. I command those immune systems to return to normal yes. and be healthy and restore the body Crooked in the name of Jesus. I command every electrical frequency that's out of harmony to every cell in your body to be harmonized, yes. to walk together and function together in yes. the name of Jesus. And yes. all chemical balances come right back into proper balance in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we in send the forth the healing power of God right Jesus now, name. right Above now into your bodies in Jesus' name. In all sickness and disease. Hallelujah. I know you're probably Hallelujah. feeling heat upon your body. You're starting mm. to realize the pain is gone. That means God did something. Yes. That demonstrates right. how much He loves you in Evidence. Jesus' name. The Holy Spirit yes. just spoke to my heart. There's me. someone here who has got scarlet fever, mm -hmm. whooping cough. What else is it, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name? He's saying to me to tell you, you're healed right now. That scarlet fever is to be gone. Whatever blood test, whatever they do to check to make sure it's gone, go and see. You'll watch. It's gone. Uh, strep throat's gone in Jesus' yes. name. Thank you, Jesus. Something about your eyes. The Holy Spirit speaking to me about your eyes. They're dry. They're being watered right now. It's tear ducts. Open it up right now. Yes. Oh, it's glaucoma. It's going away. The pressure is to become normal in the name of Jesus. Thank yes. you, Lord. Heart trouble. I speak to your heart to be made whole and healthy. Yes, God Lord. is fixing your heart, according to Thank Psalms you, 1 tell. In Jesus' name. I speak yes. to your heart. In Jesus' name. You, Jesus. you shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Psalms 118, 17. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we bless you. We praise you for healing your people of these mm -hmm. things. 
It's an easy thing in the sight of the Lord. We thank yes, you for it, Lord. Yes. We give you praise. We give you glory in yes. Jesus' name. Praise you, Lord. There are feet praise problems, you, people with foot problems. Yes. No matter what caused it, or no matter what happened, God is fixing Archie your feet foot. in the name of Jesus. Because you're called upon his name. Lord, heal my feet. Say heal it with me. My heal feet. my feet. In Jesus' heal name. My your feet are being made whole right now. Every Hallelujah. toe, every uh, ankle bone, every bone that's been out of position, Jesus, all bunions, a command to go straight yes. right up. Yes. In the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. Every bone I in your foot to prayers. go back in position. Every yes. ligament that's been torn to be healed. Every yes. bone that's been broken and cracked, I command the bones to come together, be knit together in Jesus' name. Yes. Knees, Keep I speak healing. your knees. I speak arthritis, you are bound and cast out of the knee in the name of Jesus. Yes. No pain now in Jesus' name. <laughs> thank you, Father. In thank Jesus you, Lord, name. in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father My God, right now Jesus. for the lower back pain. I command yes. the lower back pains to be recognized that you're going to be yes. healed right now. Yes. I command in the name of Jesus every muscle, every ligament, every tendon to be relaxed. The nerves right. are being pinched. The, the, the discs that are on bone on bone. I speak a creative miracle, yes. new disc. Creative and I speak to that you, area Jesus. to be healed. That nerve that's been pinched to be unpinched. Mm -hmm. I command a cartilage to go back in there in the name of Jesus to be totally restored to wholeness and newness. Yes. Therefore, I speak to your back Glory. to be healed now in Jesus' name. I want you to check out your back right now. Move it around. Check it out. See what happened. Find Jesus. out that that pain just left in the name That's of right. Jesus. The Lord is saying to me, like, there are people out there who are like the lady with the issue of blood. You spent all your money. Mm -hmm. You spent all your money on over-the-counter drugs. You have severe headaches. You've spent all your money going seeing doctors and there's nothing they can do. You've even been to a chiropractor who, who, you know, I understand it costs money to see a doctor. And some of you say, I don't have the money. I don't have it. Well, you've got Jesus. That's right. And Jesus Christ is your healer. And I speak by the Spirit of God, that demonic spirit that's crimping and clawing on the back of your head, that migraine headache, you loose that person and you go yes. now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Now, Thank you, Jesus. in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I speak a creative miracle right now in yes. the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The blood vessels to open up and to be yes. separated from the Thank nerves you, that are causing the pain. Loose it right now mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank All you, the Jesus. tension in the back of your neck and in your jaw is being totally set free right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank, Thank you, you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank and you, the Holy Jesus. Spirit said there's a lot of overweight people. My mm -hmm. people are overweight. And God is speaking to you saying his thyroid glands are going to be adjusted. Your metabolism is going to be adjusted. That's your right. pituitary gland is going to be adjusted. And it's going to reset Jesus. everything in your body so you normally will be healed quickly. You, and the loss of weight will happen quickly in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. That thank is a simple Lord. thing for God to fix. Mm -hmm. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. You have anything the Holy Spirit speaking to your heart for ministering healing in Jesus' name? Go yes. ahead. Oppression, depression. Go, go for it. Like Praise it. the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We come to you. We know that you are the God that heals us. You set us free from any bondage, and that would include depression, oppression. Um, there's people out there that, um, that have lost jobs, and they're believing God for a job. I just call jobs in in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. I just call that in right now in Jesus' yes, name. You, there's, Jesus. there's men in their homes that are depressed because they don't have a job. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, that you call the right job in for that person and yes, that Lord. there is enough finances yes. and there's more than enough finances. Thank you, Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, that that housewife that needs a job, that she just needs some outlet to be able to, to go just earn part-time money or full-time money, whatever she's yes. wanting. Hallelujah. That you are all about that that you just love us so much, that you sent your son for those things, and we can count on you. We can count on you that you will give us favor. We know that we have divine favor with you for wealth. We have divine favor with you for health. Hallelujah for both. Thank you, so thank you, Jesus, that you, you come to the rescue when we need you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that I'm, I'm asking the Lord to heal people with, with um, just, they just desire to be used of you more, like Lord God. They are seeing this program today, and they see what you can do. They know that you are a God of more than enough, and you're Amen. a God that gives us gifts Amen. that we, we don't even ask for them, and you give them to us, Amen. just like revealing who you are. 
And I thank you that there's people out there that are ready. They're ready to go and they're ready to uh, be used by you and pray for others and encourage others. I thank you, Jesus, that you are that you are revealing these gifts to people right now, that they are sitting in their in their living room, they're sitting somewhere listening to this broadcast, and they know that you love them. They know that you want to use them in a mighty way. Hallelujah. Praise God. I thank awesome. you that you're going to do those things, Lord. Awesome. Hallelujah. You know, it's interesting what you said. You're praying for jobs. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't announce their names and stuff, but this man, he needs a job. He's praying for a new job. And here you are praying for a new job. So I'm saying, thank you, Lord. I read, you, Lord. I read some of these before I brought them up here, and, I, and you answered them. You were praying for them. This person here looking for a new job. This person here wants another person to help their job. This person here is wanting to help the deliverance in their job. You're praying for people that you didn't know about it. They're right here. These are prayer requests that have been sent in from different areas, and we're just going to lay our Jesus. hands on these right now. Go on. Put your hands on there. Woo, that's so good. That baby's hot. hot. <laughs> <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you when two Hallelujah. or three are gathered. There you are yes, in the midst. There you are, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for thank the you, healing Jesus. power of God going into that's every right. person. We thank you, Lord, for their seed and their faith that we, we yes. makes the results. We thank you, Father God, for the blessing the of God that's upon these people. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the jobs, for the, the healing power of God, for the things that people have asked for, Lord. Their prayer requests are being answered. Right now, in yes. Jesus' name. Today yes. is the day of salvation. Is day. Today is. Hallelujah. God says, I am that I am, and I am is yes. doing it. He's looking to and fro the whole earth so who he can show himself <laughs> powerful to. In That's Jesus' right. name. Lord, we thank you for that. Thank we you, get Jesus. to pray and know that they're being answered. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. See the prophetic coming right out of you when you're praying? Isn't that amazing? Wow. Praise That's the Lord. God knows what needs to be it. said, and we just do what he says, and it makes life so much fun. Mm -hmm. Praying for the sick is, is <laughs> fun. Now, I like to lay hands on the sick, and sometimes as I'm doing it, the Spirit of the Lord starts giving me words about the person and that type of thing, and I'm sure that happens for you too. Next thing you know, you're, you're, the edification comes, and you're, and you're almost like reading their email, so to speak, and, mm -hmm. but because it exposes and it also enlightens, and then next thing you know, their bodies are healed. Because mm. you know, it's all working together yes. for good, in Jesus' name, amen. That's good. Power God is so amazing that uh, I, love, I just love doing this all the time. And I've uh, been to a lot of places, done a lot of things, and I'm there for availability to minister. Now, I, let's put up, uh, Deborah's uh, information for those of you who'd like to be in touch with her. Uh, she's, uh, you can be in contact with, with Deborah Ware, right? Yes. Okay. And you can call uh, area code 360-356-6499 in Vancouver, Washington. And what is that? Uh, Dove on Fire 72 at yahoo.com. Is that right? That's right. All right. I love that name, Dove on Fire. The 72 part, I don't know, but anyway. I graduated in 1972. <laughs> okay, she's just, a, she's just a young chick in, the, in Jesus' name. So if you want to get a hold of her, be sure and do that, and we'll be glad to. Or you can contact Writer Ministries, and uh, we'll be able to forward the information on to her as well, in Jesus' name. But uh, it's an exciting part that we're doing here in the name of Jesus. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'd like to pray for those who have not yet received the Lord. Uh, we call it prayer of salvation in Jesus' name. And <clears throat> I would like to do it together with Deborah. And uh, this is something I can teach you at the same time. Okay. And Sounds good. Pretend you're not saved yet. <laughs> okay. Now, this is tough, <laughs> I know. But this is what we teach in the Fresh Fire DVD, how to do this. So I walk up to you and I said, well, did you know there's two wonderful ladies that or in this, in this chair right now, there's the ones that are saved and the ones who are about to be. Now, which one are you? I guess you're about to be, right? About to be. Give me your hand. Okay. Now, i got to hold her hand, folks, so she can't get away. <laughs> I want you to repeat this with me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I ask you to forgive my sins. I ask you to forgive my sins. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Make me a Christian. Make me a Christian. The kind of person you want me to be. The kind of person that you want me to be. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For saving me. For saving me. 
Now, who did you ask in your heart? Jesus. Amen. <laughs> she did exactly what everybody does. Ah, I got Jesus in my yeah. heart. <laughs> now, my wife Miriam, um, I love to tell the story because it's so cool. Uh -huh. She needed tires for her car, so we went to the local Les Schwab tire company, buy four mm -hmm. sets of tires. So, you know, they said, leave the car, we'll put them on, come back later. So we come back later, pick the car up. Well, it's about five o'clock in the afternoon, everybody's coming back to pick her car up, right? So right. she's in line, there's all like five or six people standing behind her. And she walks up and the lady says, okay, it'll be this much. And Marion goes, okay, now let me write out the check. Now, before I give it to you, I gotta ask. There's only two kinds of wonderful girls who take my check. The ones that are saved and the ones that are about to be. Which one are you? <laughs> And she's, I guess I'm about to be. And so Mary says, take my hand Ooh. and let, let her to the Lord right there in front of all the guys trying to work with her. Guy standing behind got away. And the girl's crying Aww. because she knew that Jesus came into her heart. And all of a sudden, the manager oh, walks, up, walks up. He says, we've been trying to get you saved, and we've been praying for you. Hallelujah. Oh. <laughs> so, that's great. So, see, it's the, it's the power, of God, mm -hmm. power of God that mm. just ministers. Yes. That girl's life's changed. Mm -hmm. Now, I took my beautiful wife out to dinner, bought her steak dinner. And, of course, you know what she did? She talks to the <laughs> lady standing at the cash register. Now, there's only two kinds of girls. <laughs> and she gets them saved. So it's real wow. simple to get people saved. It wasn't mm -hmm. offensive. Now, we grab their hand. We do this to waitresses all the time. We do it everywhere we go, buy gas, do it. You'd be surprised at the number of people you can get saved just by wow. simply saying there's only two kinds of the ones that are saved, the ones that are about, and that some don't understand what you're saying. So there's, I want you to accept Jesus in your heart. Now pray with me. But you notice I didn't say pray with me. I said repeat this with me. Right. Uh-huh. Now who takes them serious? God. Amen? Uh-huh. Anyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, who judges if their heart's saved or not? God does. God. So I did my part. Holy Spirit turned their believer on when he went, who did you put in your heart? <gasps> Jesus. All of a sudden they know that they know Whoa. something changed. Wow, that's great. I did that to my brother. He was <laughs> my, my, my younger brother. He did not want to do the prayer. I mean, he was just, sorry, Lord. But anyway, I made him. I made him say the prayer. I mean, I wasn't going to let go. I wasn't going <laughs> to bulldog, man. Tenacious. All right. Okay. I'll do it for you. Nah, you know. <laughs> so he did it. And all of a sudden, he got to the end. He goes, wow, something changed. <laughs> says, yes. Yes. God took you serious. And he goes, wow. <laughs> Even made him say it. So he's all angry because I made him go to heaven. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. So don't be afraid to ask someone to accept the Lord Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. Well, we're going to go good. ahead and end the show right now. We just want to thank you so much for coming and watching. I'm glad that uh, you were here. God bless you. Appreciate you. you being here. Thank you. Praise the Lord, Deborah. And we'll see you next Monday. God bless you. Amen and amen. We hope you've enjoyed this amazing broadcast, The Healing Power of God. And we invite you to tune in again at writer.org every Monday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to see and hear how the Lord ministers to His people with the healing power of God. Be sure to order your very own copy of How to Heal the Sick DVDs where you can minister the healing power of God. Until next time, let your face stand in the power of God.